3.2 million deaths in a year are linked to physical inactivity, which means you not exercising is the fourth leading factor of global mortality. So how do you make people stay committed to physical activity? Well, that's what my React app is trying to solve. And in this video, I'll be documenting the full process of me building this application in React.js from scratch. As much as this video is a tutorial for beginners, this video can also give you an insight as to how an app developer might build an application to solve a real world problem. Without wasting any further time, let's start the journey. Before touching the keyboard, I had to whiteboard the complete plan, starting with the idea, the features I will be implementing, and the technology at my disposal. So let's talk features. The full application is based on circuit training. If you don't know what that is, it's basically where you repeat a set of exercises and try to increase the amount of sets over months of time. So the features are actually very simple, creating and editing a workout in app, starting a workout session in app and storing the workout data. And of course, being able to visualize the progress using graphs. Now, wait a minute, why graphs? This well-reviewed study shows that by creating visual representation of your progress, individuals can feel more motivated and engaged in the process of working towards their goals. And that's why I'm using graphs. The technology is React.js and Redux for better state management. Now comes the second part of our journey, and that is user experience and user interface. This means wireframing the full application and building a design for it. For example, here, the blue notes show the buttons or the portals that take us to different parts of the application. Pink notes here show a specific screen or a view. So keeping this in mind, so this is the design I ended up deciding is the home page of the application. When you click all workouts, you will be taken to the library or you can get in through clicking this library button also. So when you get into the library and click on any of these workouts, you move into the workout info page. And in this, you'll have the general information about the sets and the recent activity. And when you click on start workout, you will be taken to the screen. And this is a workout session, as I said, which will have all the sets in a carousel view, all the uh, activities in the carousel view and the amount of time you have spent and the number of sets you have performed. And eventually you will end the workout with which I'm planning to end in a uh, positive reinforcement note uh, with a positive note and you can go to go back to home. When you go back here, you can also go to history of the page, uh, to the history of your workouts. You'll be taken to this page where you can see each activity and the number of sets you performed. When you click on any of them, you'll see a more detailed view where finally you can see the full stats of the workout. Now this page still not designed yet. I'm going to show the brief uh, history of the workout and I'll have a graph which shows the improvement over time, showing the number of sets on the y-axis and the number and the dates on the x-axis. Right after that, I went straight to coding. Link to all the code in the description below. Starting with setting up a store in Redux and handling the full component tree until it got a little boring. So I set a challenge for myself. 24 hours, the full application. One screen at a time, one view at a time, one button at a time. One step at a time, one punch at a time, one round at a time. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust. Oh, 
it was all completed except the workout stats where I wanted to show the user's progress using a graph, but... You have one hour. I can't delay it any longer. So I cut corners and asked ChatGPT to write me the code for this data using the Chart.js library, only to find more bugs and problems. So in the last few minutes, I decided to sit through a tutorial for Chart.js and code everything myself, which turned out to be on time, actually, and very simple. And there it is, the completed application. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can use this application right now. The link is in the description below. Up and